I really valued the concept coming into today. It gave me a structure and it gave me a starting point. If you're confident and if you've practised, you've got more chance of being able to manage that moment effectively. It's really, really important that whatever you do is 100% authentic. Know your audience and know how to pitch it. I think it's getting the concise message in the story. The simplicity, but the professionalism at which we go about things. And we don't talk about it enough. So there are lots of different elements that go into storytelling. What is your most difficult audience to use? Learning about everybody else's stories that they've worked on and how that can be translated in a human way. Thinking about what they might want to hear rather than what you want to say. Taking it and dialing it down or dialing it up in certain areas which are really important in the context you're trying to talk to. People remember the how you do it more than the what. And it gave us something to think about, there's something thought provoking. It's absolutely great hearing it from the people who actually know the story. Understanding how others have told their story and networking, have that deeper connection with them. I've been using storytelling to build better connections. So that it listens from somebody else's perspective, the passion they bring. You can translate their passion into your own. You start to believe it yourself. So of course the audience will start believing it too. Yes, lovely, <laughs> lovely use of humour be present in the room and to deal with what is in front of you. Because the next part of the challenge is for you then to tell their story. And the more you rehearse, I think the, the, the more natural that flow becomes. I think rehearsing is absolutely essential. And I have to know how I'm going to present that subject. Because you, you do have more control than you think. Yeah. Come up a level, think about you know, the person you're talking to. Even though you need your little set pieces, you've got to know when to use them and when not. But it's a question of going with it. I recognise our clients want to hear about these stories. The drama of the repetition, people, people like that. It wasn't just looking at one person, actually yeah. you kind of felt like you brought the room in. He told us about the emotional use. That was a nice close. You just don't get the passion and the authenticity across, other than just doing it as what we've done today. We are not telling our clients about the wider capability we have. We do some really grown up and powerful things, that we need to be more articulate and, and proud of. And I see that sort of perhaps uh, replicated across the group. Our clients are asking us to tell us more.